Hi y'all, welcome to another Firefly beading tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use a clamshell bead tip. First you're going to start off with a knot in your cording. I like to finish the knot with our hypo cement that we sell here at Firefly. This prevents fraying or unraveling. After the glue dries, snip off the tails. You can also use wax cotton or wax linen with this technique of beading. You're going to start by adding the bead tip on with the open face going towards the knot. You also want to make sure that your knot is big enough that it won't slide through the bead tip hole. Once the knot is snug inside of the bead tip, you're going to gently close off the bead tip so that both sides align. Then you're going to start stringing on your beads. I'm using two cords here. Sometimes you're using just one. Either way, this method works for the cording that'll fit through the bead tip hole. Once you're finished beading, you're going to then add on your next bead tip by putting the back end of the bead tip onto the strand. Pull it all the way down till it meets the beads. If you have a double strand like I'm using, you can do a square knot first to make sure everything's nice and tight. Right over left and left over right. If you're not using a double strand like this, then you're going to use our next method, which is the overhand knot. I do it over one and two. And then I use a pair of tweezers to slide down my overhand knot. The point is you want to get your knot to settle inside of the bead tip and as close to the beads as possible. With the double strand, you can then tighten by pulling both sides. If you don't have a double strand, you just keep using the tweezers. Final step is to add some more of our hypo cement glue or any kind of super glue you have. This is great because it has a needle on it. Once the glue is dry, you're going to then snip off the tails by the knot and then gently close up the bead tip, just like we did before. Then you're going to slip on your clasp through the loop and close it, making sure that the tail is flush against the bead tip. You're going to go to the opposite side and repeat the process by adding the second part of the clasp. Gently close it until it's flush. And that's it! This method will work with any cording that is about 0.7 millimeters thick because that's what our bead tips can handle. We hope you enjoyed this video. Happy beading from us at Firefly!